Hi guys, welcome to Learn Electronics Repair. I made a video recently about strange devices, looking at strange electronic components with my friend Detlef, and a lot of you enjoyed that. So this in a similar vein is about a strange device. So this I got from AliExpress. It was Detlef who actually spotted this one. I hadn't seen one before. I'm not quite sure where he got the idea. But what I have here is a portable wireless laser keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> So this actually projects a keyboard onto your bench or any other surface, flat surface, okay. And you can attach this either to an Android phone, a tablet PC, desktop PC, notebook, etc. Okay, so I thought I'd have a look at this. And the main reason being, from my point of view, is that probably in common with a lot of you guys with my electronics workbench i never have enough space okay if i zoom out a little bit you will see this is where all the work gets done i have mouse and keyboard that's one of my pcs on the bench and i have another mouse and keyboard which is the other pc on the bench in fairness, I need one computer because I'm actually recording what I'm doing. But that's actually a good idea, even if you are not making YouTube videos. I often find by playing back my own videos, I spot things or think of things I didn't think of the first time, actually. So I'd even recommend that to just about anybody. And the second computer, I normally use this one when I want to look at schematics, data sheets, and these sort of things. So if I can do away with a keyboard and mouse, at least one of them, or maybe even both of them, that would be a good thing. So let's have a look in the box and see what we have. And this is the Bluetooth keyboard. This is quite small. It measures about seven and a half centimeters by, let's see, how wide is this? Four. Two. So this is not very big. You can connect this either via Bluetooth, as I mentioned, or you can actually connect this with a cable. So this quite unusually has a micro USB and it comes with this provided cable. So let's see. Fits easily enough. This stands up. I'll just get it into shot. Okay. It's actually battery powered. Obviously, you don't have to use the cable, but I'm going to use the cable. And there, on my bench, is my keyboard. Yeah, there is my keyboard. So let's attach this to the computer and let's see how well it actually works. There is a little instruction sheet with this. So how to connect either USB, which is what I'm going to do today, or Bluetooth. Okay, so both options. Bluetooth can attach to both iOS and Android systems. Suggest some functions on the Android system mobile phone may not be compatible with the keyboard. Shows how to increase and decrease the brightness, etc. And we also have a mouse function, so we can use this as a mouse as well. It says over 350 characters a minute. Personally, I can't type even that fast. But I'm not a typist. Yeah. Run time, charging time, etc. It seems to have a sleep mode from what I can see. So it goes dim or goes off if you're not using it. You put your hand in front of it and it wakes up again. Okay. I have some very bright overhead lighting on my workbench. I will switch it off for you. Sure, you'll be able to see the difference. So I'm just using a webcam to pick this up so you can see effectively the screen on my computer as well. So to wake this up, if I just wave my hand across, the keyboard is lit up. Now, as I say, that doesn't come out very well on the camera with the bright lighting, but I can see it clearly enough. So L, M, let's go for something like 399. Okay, hit the space. And then data sheet. So you can see I'm typing quite happily with this. The clicking noise, you can turn this on or off using the keyboard in actual fact. 
So LM399 data sheet, and then we can just go to our data sheet. And that's where I think this is probably for me the most useful. Okay. So I'm now in the data sheet. I can look around. So I'm actually using the computer mouse, but I don't have to have a keyboard on the desk. And this thing can be out of my way. It's not bothering me. Just wake it back up again. I can search for something else. So I think for things like data sheets and maybe if I want to go to AliExpress and I'm interested in buying something. For example, a laser keyboard. Why not? Yeah, laser keyboard. Laser keyboard. Enter. Yeah, there we are. Look, I found a better price for you guys. So that's the keyboard working. It's very small, it's very handy. In my experience, I have played around with this a little bit. It takes a little bit of getting used to because you tend to have to press towards the bottom of the letter that you want. But then you can also more easily see what you are pressing. Let me switch off the overhead lighting and go to my overhead camera so you can see yeah it's fairly bright and that's on my workbench which you can see is not clean there's lots of marks on it but that doesn't stop the thing from actually working it's quite happy on it okay i could put a piece of paper there i'll just show you guys yeah so on the clean surface it's actually very bright certainly bright enough to use but well, i'm quite happy with the fact i can actually use this on my dirty old work map because that's why i would want to use this okay just have it sitting out the way and every time i want to type something well there we go and also to get an even better price this video if you didn't see it probably six days ago this will give you some coupon codes that you can use in many countries for many items not everything on AliExpress, but lots of things. So it's worth a look. Just click on the link here. And this will take you to my influencer page. I actually now know how to customize this. So during next month, this will have my name on and I'll be able to customize the items which are on the screen, you can see. But at the moment, it's just showing things I recently bought or things I have for review. Now, you're not limited to these items you see here. You can use these codes for just about anything and I'll show you how to do that. So these are your coupon codes and they depend on how much the thing is costing you, how much you're spending. And that's not per item, that's just for your total order. So if we go to our portable wireless keyboard and we go to checkout, I see the price is 29.83. It's actually come down somewhat because I am outside of the EU custom zone. I'm in Gran Canaria or Gran Canaria, which is the correct pronunciation. So I automatically get the 21 cent off. So if you're not paying VAT where you live, you may see a similar thing, but the promo code goes here. So we click on here and this is where you enter the promo codes and you can literally just copy the one you want. So this is orders over 1682. We copy the code and we paste it. And that's how we actually get the discount. You see, it's gone off a little bit more. Okay, you can save money on just about anything on AliExpress. And that is the laser keyboard. Personally, I wouldn't like to use this for typing a lot if I was writing an essay. I would use a full-size keyboard. It's a bit more tactile, but for things like browsing data sheets and for schematics and things like that. I think it's ideal. And if, like me, you are short of space on your desk and you like interesting toys, well, here's another one for you. Also, remember, you can use those coupon codes. They will change every month, by the way, so the actual office will change, the codes will change. But you have a couple more days yet if you want to buy something, one of these or anything else, pretty much on AliExpress. Save yourself some money. And then the link will stay the same. So next month, there will be different codes. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all soon on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.